uh, sculpture walk here behind me is a really lovely spot. Uh, a number of beautiful pieces that really have a, a lot of mathematical ideas and structures uh, embodied in them. But what we're going to do today right here in this spot is we're going to go on a mathematical fossil hunt. So uh, this image, and if you can't see it super well, uh, do feel free to come a bit closer and take a look. This is a fossil. And um, most fossils, as, as we know, are remains of uh, creatures that lived long ago. You might see the first bird lizard, Archaeopteryx, with its wings embedded in the stone. But this is a fossil of mathematics. Now, what could that possibly mean? I'll tell you about it, but first what I need you to do is look around you in this area here and see if you can find this fossil pattern uh, reproduced somewhere right in the immediate area that we're standing right here. Okay, I see lots of people pointing right away. You've already seen it in the bottom surface of this fountain slash stream running along the uh, landing here. Uh, there's this same ripple pattern and it, it shares the same essential characteristic, which is that the uh, upstream ripple, which is this side here, the upstream is very uh, shallowly sloped and the downstream is very sharply sloped, just like what's been built on the bottom of this, of this stream here. And what this actually is, is a fossil of the sandy bed of a stream. And the reason I call it a fossil of mathematics is because we know that water as it moves tends to oscillate. And mathematics is something that will study how that oscillation works. As you know, waves are one of the uh, important objects of mathematical study. And it tells us that it's going to create forces on the bottom of the stream. It will create this, this type of ripple pattern. And moreover, that ripple pattern influences how the water moves. And so it reaches an equilibrium, another thing that we can study mathematically. And that was captured in this fossil. And it tells us that the laws of mathematics were the same hundreds of millions of years ago as they are today. And moreover, a modern architect can imitate this ripple pattern from nature created here artificially in order to make the stream move the way water would in a real natural stream and create and enhance the more naturalistic environment even here in this urban setting.